Hi friends, I am Asmitha. Welcome to my channel. Thai transgender business mogul and Jakka Fong Jakra Juta Teep just made history as the first woman to own global beauty pageant Miss Universe organization in its 71-year history. She bought the Mio pageant from IMG as its first female owner ever. Former U.S. President Donald Trump ran it before that. Anne, a transgender rights advocate and businesswoman from Thailand, has purchased the Miss Universe organization for $20 million, according to her company's announcement. She is the founder and CEO of the media business JK and Global Groups, which has its headquarters in Thailand and purchased the pageant's rights from IMG Worldwide a sports and event organization with its main office in New York City. And Jakraju Tatip was named the first Thai and first transgender woman to receive the Asia Media Woman of the Year Award at the Content Asia Summit in Singapore in 2019, reported Bangkok Post. The same article stated that she also helped bring Indian series to Thai TV, which earned her the nickname Queen of Indian Content with Gorgeous. Model like looks and a 6.8 million follower count on her Instagram page. The 43 year old has been making waves in the business world for a while now, and has even appeared in local versions of Project Runway and Shark Tank in her home country, per NBC. During an interview for Bangkok Post, Anne claimed that, before her transition, she studied in an all male school in Thailand where she was bullied by her classmates and even sexually harassed by her teacher because of her gender identity. This led her to drop out and she later started working at a gas station to support herself. Eventually, she left her home country to study in Sydney, Australia instead. And Jakraju Tatip told the Times of India that she always felt like a woman, but her parents weren't supportive of her. She said that she would often put on her mother's clothes as a child and wanted to become a girl. Despite her parents' opposition, she began her transition while she was studying in Sydney. However, she decided to retain her original deep baritone voice, as she considers it a part of her identity too. Being the eldest of her siblings, and JKN was not able to express herself when she was younger. It was only after she turned 35 years old that she decided to run away from home. She said, 10 reconstruction surgeries over 3 years and living like a mummy for months weren't easy, but it was happy pain. I could finally be the girl I'd been seeing in the mirror for 36 years. I'm 100% a woman now. And JKN is someone that you call an erudite. An erudite is a human who has a wide range of knowledge and is well-read. Jakra Juta Thip boasts an extremely highly educational background. She graduated from Australia's Bond University where she studied international relations, has a certificate in real estate development from Chilolincon University, and also bagged a certificate from the Thai Institute of Directors Association's Director Accreditation Program, as per Elite Plus magazine. After finishing her studies, Jakra Jutati returned to Thailand to help manage her family's video rental business while simultaneously working towards her personal goal of setting up her own company. Despite her rough childhood and started her career working at a gas station for cheap wages to support herself. Today, she is the CEO of the JKN Global Media which is the top content management and distribution company in Thailand and one of the top in the world. And she didn't stop there. Anne expanded JKN and started selling health and beauty products, offering more than 50 items, and acquired drink factories and other digital news channels as well, per Bangkok Post, as per GMA Network. As of now, under the leadership of Anne, JKN Global Media owns 15 businesses under its wing with involvement in content distribution, beverages, food supplements, beauty and consumer products news licensing and ad sponsorship, according to the article. Owing to the massive success of her business ventures, Anne became the first that and first transgender woman to receive the Asia Media Woman of the Year Award at Content Asia Summit in Singapore in 2019, as report in an article by Bangkok Post. She even has a British boyfriend and two adorable kids that she had via surrogacy. In a Thai interview by a JKN official, she spoke about the difficulties of having kids via surrogacy, 
as she had to fly to Greece to make it happen and the total went up to around 8 lakhs to have the two lovely children, with her massive business empire, and Jakra Jutatip is said to be one of Southeast Asia's wealthiest trans women, as per GMA Network. Her Instagram posts show off her extravagant lifestyle, complete with Aston Martin cars and private jets. According to Forbes in 2020, she was the third richest transgender person in the world, with an estimated net worth TH of $210 million. This puts her above the former Olympian Caitlyn Jenner and one of the directors of Hollywood's The Matrix trilogy Lana Wachowski.